Rachel Jackson came to Colorado State University during her junior year, one of the first things she did was find the rodeo club. Oh, I was looking. I knew I only had two years left and I was going to rodeo for CSU no matter where I went with my education. The CSU Rodeo Club is one of the oldest in the country, and when you talk to the members, it's easy to see why it's lasted this long. Just ask Kelsey's story, a first year and recent addition to the team. I came from California and I didn't know a single person over here and then I found the rodeo club and they're just like a second family to me. They're so supportive. The support goes beyond the team though. Club president Erica Sinclair says the entire rodeo community supports each other on and off the saddle. I think that the community that rodeo builds is just something so unique. Not a lot of sports have such compassion for competitors. I can't tell you how many times I've seen an injury or a hardship, like cancer or something that's come up, and just the entire community just flocks around that person. Since the 1940s, the rodeo club has hosted the Skyline Stampede, the oldest collegiate rodeo in the country. And this year, it's going to be bigger than ever. It has been a monumental year for us as a club. We have scratched and clawed our way to get the opportunities that we have gotten this year to be able to put on the production that we're about to put on this weekend. Students don't just practice their horse riding in the club. They also hone the business management skills necessary to run a rodeo. This is a, an event production and any event requires finances, it requires management, it requires scheduling and those are all aspects that the entire club gets to be involved in. If you don't think you have enough experience to join the club, don't worry. Rachel says it's never too late to start. I didn't come from a rodeo background, it's just something that lit a fire in me and now it's something that I couldn't live without. Mm -hmm.